ladies and gentlemen of the press. My press statement is on uh, generally on the management and leadership of the Orange Democratic Movement Party as the national chairman. And uh, this is the statement. The Orange Democratic Movement is the largest, most organized, and national political party in the country. ODM has outlived and outperformed many peers and many older parties and has participated meaningfully in every general election since 2007. The party is proud to be associated with some of the most transformative and impactful social, economic, and political developments that have taken place in this country between 2007 and now. When we said in 2007 campaign, uh, when we said Ugatuzi in 2007 campaign, what followed was devolution, which had significantly uh, changed the governance structure of the nation. When we also said infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure three times, the country embarked on a transformative infrastructure development agenda that has touched every part of the country by way of road, rail, fiber optics, and clean energy generation that has earned this country international fame as leader in green growth. I think you will remember our 2007 clarion call or campaign of infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. There are people who think that green agenda started with Kenya Kwanzaa, but that is not correct. It is not true. It started when ODM pronounced itself strongly on infrastructure agenda more than 20 years ago. It is a tradition we are deeply proud of and one we would like to protect and preserve as a political party. It has actually taken patience, understanding, ability to make compromises, a deliberate policy of inclusivity, consultative approach, and ability of the leadership to look at the bigger picture for the party to come this far. We have no option but to stay on that path. A few weeks ago, our party leader, the Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, indicated that he will be pursuing interests beyond the country, but he would keep tabs on the party and continue offering guidance when needed. He went ahead to express faith and confidence that in his absence, his two deputies alongside other officials would be equal to the task of steering the party. Since then, a number of people have expressed interest in going for various leadership positions and a robust debate has ensued on how best to ensure that the top leadership of this party is broad and inclusive enough to take care of, ev of the very diverse party membership and interest base. As the national chairman of the party and in consultation with the party leader, we are proud of the massive interest shown in the future of the party and the debate on inclusion. It is the clearest indication that the party has relevance in the country and, 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 and the future. I, however, wish to appeal to our people, those who want to lead and those who simply want the party to remain strong, to exercise caution, restraint, and moderation. A few processes will have to kick in, in line with the party constitution, before the party can declare election date. Let us hold our horses and wait for guidance. I call on fellow leaders and those aspiring to lead to ensure their actions and utterances unite uh, but not divide our party. We have a duty to ensure our actions and utterances reassure the party support base instead of causing more uncertainty and panic. I fear that the actions and utterances of the last few days are not in the best interest of the party and of those of the party leader who is keen on an orderly, inclusive, and impactful agenda for the party. In the meantime, I would want to call upon the two deputy party leaders, Ali Hassan Joe and Wycliffe Ambeza Oparanya, both tested and tried leaders in their own right, to provide leadership at this critical moment as we await guidance on the next steps. I also call on all party officials at all levels to join the two deputies and provide nonpartisan guidance to members and would-be leaders. Thank you very much. Honorable CPA John Badi, Ngongo, 
EGH. And if you listen to my statement, I've talked about activities in the last few days. In few days includes today backwards. Up to the number you can call few last days, last few days. And many, many leaders have spoken about the leadership of the party. All of them are addressed in my statement. So are you worried that ODM could split as a result of another sort of uh, formation now being put forth? Why, the section of the leaders in the party? why are you being negative about the split of the party? I have addressed our members to exercise caution restraint and understand that this party has been built over the years based on certain principles and one of which is consensus, discussion, deliberations, exercising patience. I have mentioned all that. So I don't want to be to join you in being negative that the party could split. I am asking those members of the those who want to lead this party and those who are interested in the strength of the party going forward to exercise restraints, exercise patience, and allow the party leader uh, to manage the party and together with the leadership of the party. And the party leader has expressed confidence in the two deputies and other national officials, national chairman included. Who said that? No, the position of the party. There can't be such a position of the party. Our party leader is still going to be in the ballot in 2027. That is a position of ODM. So we are talking about party leader taking another assignment. If he does take the assignment, he is going to leave the party to be managed in his absence. And that is for the period that he will be absent, which I don't know. So why are you jumping to 2027 and we are still in 2024? The two people you have mentioned are fighting for succession. That's the reason why you mentioned. So you are, you are discouraging them. There is no way they are going to I am not calling for people not to fight for succession. I don't know which succession it is. What I'm aware of is that the party leader may be absent for some time, if at all. He gets the chairmanship of African Union Commission, during which time, when he's absent, the two deputy party leaders would be in charge. Any time he's absent, including now when he's out of the country, and that is why I've called upon the two deputy party leaders to take charge in his absence. When he comes back, he will provide a guidance. And he still provides that guidance even when he's not physically present. But what I'm saying is there could be too much talk around succession in the party which would be destructive or destructive to the party in terms of executing its mandate, which we all know, the mandate of ODM as the leading opposition party in this country.